All right, guys, today we're right on the outskirts of Nashville, Tennessee, and I picked up my Hobie PA 14 360, but can't go home without stopping at Yak Gadget. So we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you where the magic happens at Yak Gadget. They make some of the best products and oh yeah, I am associated with them and proud of it. All right guys, let's go in and look and check them out. Hey, Trina, we brought them donuts. We're trying to brown rose our way into getting stuff. All right guys, so I'm inside Yak Gadget and what he has right here is a studio set up. So his studio, I uh, hope, hope he's not gonna get on to me for over a filming, but his studio is where he's gonna do products. Uh, you know, put the products out there and uh, do photo shoots here. Let me spin around and look at some of this stuff. He's got, might, might find something secret. So he's got a bona fide that he looks like he's been working and rigging some stuff up on. And the Unlimited, the new canoe Unlimited, and guys, I've done the walkthrough with the owner of that, and I'll link that video right here, up up here somewhere. And also, I caught a really nice cobia out of this boat. So uh, I, I'm gonna have to, I haven't got that video edited yet, but by the time you're watching this, I might have it edited. So if I do, I'm gonna link it there. All right, and also, guys, he's got a Hobie out back here. That well, all these boats are stuff for product and development. All right, guys. So I'm here, and actually with john and he is the uh he is the chief getter done officer that's what you said and guys i'm telling you this is honest to god's truth and it's not because the man's here that is the most hard working man <laughs> in the industry that's true i don't care what you say that's true <laughs> so anyway i wanted to throw that out there and introduce you to john and show you this man this is uh this is awesome all right, so guys, on my kayak, uh, I was went fishing in the video and didn't even mention this product. And when I had it out there, I had people saying, "Hey, what do you got your rods in? Now, what is that? What is that?" So that is a rod stager, and it was an awesome. But now he's even made a better, a better deal with it. So what we got going here, John? Yeah. So the official name, I believe, I'm going to call this. This is the flex rod stager, and the reason why we're calling the flex rod because it's giving you the opportunity to be flexible in your kayak on how you store your rods. So these two chambers right here will be for your rods. You can go side by side. And then in this middle here, you notice this is a little different. You can put your pad on the middle. This will come in a pair of these. But the biggest thing that makes this thing the flex rod is the fact that with a little turn of a button, uh, of this knob, I mean, you can make it adjustable. So you can bring it in. You can slide it as far in as you want or as far out as you want. It's the only one on the market that does that, I assure you. Um, and just makes it completely flexible the other thing too is on some boats if you wanted to turn it in you could have the ability to swivel it around and then bring it in as well depending on what kind of watercraft you're on so this is just giving you the ultimate flexibility in how you want to keep your rods by you uh, we found that a lot of people like the river fish with low hanging trees yes in certain situations where you just want to lay your rod down you don't want it you know uh, you don't want it facing up you don't want to add an angle you just want it straight horizontal so this this will give you the uh, the ability to do that we're going to sell these a pair of these for 39.99 that's awesome Lamette, is it track mounted? It is. It is track mounted. All right. Now, how about some of those Hobie owners? Is it, are we going to have something for that? Oh no, I mean, they got a track mount for the A Trail, right? Yep. Yep. You, we've got a we've got our quick track that uh -huh. goes on the A Trail that you can put these on. But also, we will be working on a Hobie uh, A Trail version for this as well. Everything mm -hmm. that we kind of make, we try to make a Hobie version for it as well. So, so when is when is it going to be available? I'm putting it on the spot. Uh, you could put me on the spot because I think this is ready. We're 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 doing our final production run of these next week, so we're gonna we're gonna probably put these on the website either this weekend or early next week and uh, start taking orders. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. And right here, now if I ain't mistaken, a bungee cord goes there, yeah. and you can run it over it and lock it in yeah. place. Yeah. Right, your you rods. The option of adding, you got the option of adding shock cord here, where you can bring that over, and that will lock all three of your items that you have on here in. That's awesome. Uh, that's gonna solve a lot of problems. Yeah, absolutely. love it. All right, that's good. A new, another new product that we got going on. All right. Yeah. So, I've been wanting to make a paddle holder forever. Um, a lot of my dealers, that's their number one request of me, of, of Yak Gadget. And uh, Charles and I worked really hard to come up with the right paddle holder. Um, so we came up with this design uh, where basically the paddle will go down 
and uh, we have this little rubber piece here that it'll set on. What I love about this the most is you don't have to force that paddle too hard. It'll still grip it and hold it, but it doesn't make much noise, if at all, uh, when you're out. I've been on the water with it, and it hasn't scared the fish off or anything. I can just lay it down or even do a natural weight drop with it where I just let the where I just let the paddle just kind of naturally drop and we can go over here and do a demo show that but um, we have basically a, a rubber washer here at the bottom for the T-nut and then we have our, our knob in the middle of this so oh, yeah. this actually sets up higher than the Yak Attack Rotor Grip uh, but the most exciting thing about this is we're selling this uh, retail for $9.99 uh, for each one uh, but we're going to have three other sizes for this. So we're gonna have one that is this tall. Oh. We're gonna have one that kicks off to the side of the uh, gear track. And then we're gonna also have one that's tall and barely offset. So no matter what vessel you're on, what, what, what kayak you're on, uh, you will have the right paddle holder for you. So while other competitors have one, we've got four. That's perfect. All right, so here it is, the paddle. No way. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm just impressed. Natural, Look, and it's it, yeah. it's secure, but not like yeah. overly secure. I mean, it's there. Yeah, it ain't right. going nowhere, but you don't have to rip that's it. rip the plastic out to get yeah, it out. That's exactly right. So like, so like, if you're sitting in the seat and you just want to get it up there, you could actually lift up and just pry it off. One the hand just ease it up. And not even make hardly any noise. Like you could just bring that down, and you can tell it didn't really make any noise. You could just regular pry. And if you want to do a natural weight drop. Like that, right oh. And that's like, that's about as loud as it gets. I mean, that, that really shocked me how quiet we were able to make it work without any kind of rubber wheels. That's awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so it works really, really well. You know, to somebody else it might surprise them, but it don't surprise me. Yeah. I don't know how you come up with that. I keep telling her every time I'm running about, man, you always come up with something. And then we've got, the, that's the offset, but that's the, that's the offset version. Offset version right there. And then and our tall version, I might have already sold that, but our tall version is literally about this tall. I know a lot of people want that paddle holder taller. So yeah. our new one would be about that tall and then slightly offset. So and we plan on releasing all this stuff at once. Guys, here's all the products that he has here waiting to go out. Yeah. And they're still behind on orders. So here's a, here's the assembly tables, and when they get the products, they get the they get the in, the invoice, and then they build it per the invoice, and they put that in with the product. So it's a good good setup he has here. It's pretty awesome. This is our new facility. Their other facility was really tiny, and they run out of room. So. Uh, now he's got this place and he's starting to run out of room here too but he has these i don't know if it's cnc machines i don't know what you call them but you set you set the computer and it cuts all of them out it's pretty daggone neat so he's got a big one over there he showed me last time i was here and there's a few of them and they run a lot so i turn my head and he's done picked up something else and there, and there's the same thing but it's a double rod holder yep or not a rod holder double paddle that way yep. it gives just a little bit more security yep yep it's just it's for the folks that want it that want an offset from their rails so they can still use their rails for other things like fish finders and whatnot and then be able to still set their paddle and have it just be totally secure and not have to put one over here and one over here they can just have this thing be dual right there wow this is another one this is another product that we're going to try to get out this weekend if we <laughs> can. We're, we're under the spot now we 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 we've let michael into our secret layer so <laughs> so we have no choice but to now rush the ball we're showing things so well what he don't realize is that uh i gotta edit the video and get it out there too so this weekend might be next weekend or next yeah. All right, I'm down. <laughs> we'll we'll see. It, Give me a heads up. All right. All right, guys. So I did leave with something here from Yak Gadget, and it's called the Quick Track. Mm -hmm. 
And look at that, man. It, it goes on the H rail, and they make it for other boats as well. He said he make it for the new canoe. And I, any others? Yeah, uh, uh, we've got it. Um, so we make it for all the models of new canoe. We make it for Hobie, and uh, we're working on our gear track version of it too because we've had a lot of uh, requests to make it. Uh, for gear track, uh, additional gear track for, for some of the gear track hikes to lift it up and lift it out. So to allow you to mount things away from your track. So, we'll so I like this, I'm, I, I'm gonna, that's what I, I'm gonna put my fish finder on that right there, I believe. Either my fish finder or my transducer arm, I can't decide where. And guys, I know somebody's gonna say, why don't I use the transducer uh, thing inside the hole of the boat? Well, I use it on different boats, so that's why I'm not doing that. So. Anyway, John, it's a pleasure. Love you, man. I mean it. And uh, can't wait to get back on the water. We was on the water one time for a weekend, and it was awesome. It's time to do it again. Yeah, we've got something coming up. Uh, I'm excited about in June. We're going to be working with uh, Alex. Ah, uh, I like him. So we're wait, on. Uh, him wait. and I was on the Bixby team together. Well, we'll probably might have you join us uh, hey. in mid June. That sounds he's good. Out on the water with us. We're yeah, I like him. He's so down to earth. He's a great he's a good person. Good guy, too. man. Good guy for real. Alex, I'm uh, I'm uh, plugging you there. All right, guys. My battery light's blinking. It's like, hey, I'm gonna cut you off here. Guys, check out Yak Gadget. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below, and you just have to go on the website and just see all the products he got because he's got a lot. All right, see you guys. Thanks for watching.